Hey guys, so I'm back with another hair tutorial. Um, I kind of struggled in the beginning of this because I hurt myself. I don't know what the heck happened. I think my finger got caught up in my hair tie or in my naps, either one. <laughs> but I'm doing um, the genie pony. So I'm starting off with hair that's already been molded upward. I had a bun previously, so I'm just working with the hair that I already had molded up and adding some more gel to it using my Eco Styler Argan Oil. And I'm taking my toothbrush and just kind of slicking up my edges just to make sure that everything is still smooth um, and making sure my edges are like slicked up the way I want them to be. So now I'm taking my Outless headband that I double wrapped and I'm just making me a ponytail at the top. Now I don't have that much hair but for this style my hair has grown enough to where I need to have it like either braided or twisted and attached to hair instead of just doing a bun. So I'm just doing a two strand twist on my hair and um, then I'm going to get my extensions ready to be added. So I'm using the Glow Up Hair. I think this is new, correct me if I'm wrong, um, by Sensational. I hadn't seen it before, but this is their human hair. Um, this is the Yaki texture in the length 12 inches. And I think it was about $15 after tax. So I'm taking one of my um, Outchless hair ties, the smaller ones, and I'm just making a few loops around the end of the weft, but I'm keeping a loop open for me to attach it to the end of my two strand twist. So you're just gonna wrap it around like you would a ponytail just at the very end and um, take it around as many times as you can until it feels you know, completely secure. Once you get it around, you'll have the rest of the extensions hanging from the bottom. And then what you're gonna do is just start wrapping upward. So I just took the hair um, and just continue to wrap it around going upward you do want to make sure that you keep the weft straight like flat against the ponytail because if it flips up it'll kind of poke out of the ponytail it won't look right so make sure that you have the weft flat to the um, ponytail and you can really achieve that best by just sliding your fingers across the weft every time you take it around um, you can kind of see me doing that here just slide my finger around it making sure that everything is wrapped tight I do suggest to keep it pretty snug because I didn't use any um, bobby pins for this. So everything I did, I wanted to make sure it was very tight so it wouldn't really slip or move anywhere. Um, you can use bobby pins if you want. I just don't like bobby pins with this style, of course, because I feel like they would be poking out of the ponytail and that's just not going to be cute. So wrapping it very tight will keep it in place. I didn't have any problems with the ponytail slipping at all. So. Um, you're just going to keep doing that until you get all the way up to the top. So you just keep wrapping. Now once you get to that um, very last section, you're just going to continue to wrap. And kind of like I did with my previous tutorial, I just took that very last strand and um, wrapped it around the base of the ponytail to hold everything in place. And once again, you can use a bobby pin if you choose to. I don't like bobby pins due to the fact that they kind of will stick me in my head and, and become uncomfortable. So I usually just tend to try to wrap it as tight as I can so I can avoid having to use a bobby pin. And you will probably experience some tangles while wrapping it, but you should be able to just take your fingers through the hair and... Um, kind of detangle it so there I am taking that last piece of hair wrapping it really snugly around the base of the ponytail and then just taking my fingers through to kind of get the tangles out and then um, you want to kind of push your ponytail and kind of bend it a little bit because after the hair has been wrapped around the ponytail it kind of can be stiff so you just kind of want to bend it to make sure it's flexible and falls the way you want it to I'm adding some gel to the back just to make sure everything is slick um, I decided to go in and add some gold string. You can just stop at the point um, before the string, but I just kind of want to add a little touch 
and to kind of give it that genie vibe so i'm using this string i found at the hair store um you can find this in the area where they have all of the hair accessories so um it was very inexpensive i don't know the, the price of it i'll try to find the packaging and see if i can find the price and put it in the link for you guys or put it in the description i'm sorry so just keep wrapping it all the way up to the top this was a fairly long string so i cut it in half but you can use the whole thing if you would like to and take it all the way up high because this genie pony is meant to be kind of high up but i didn't want mine as high so i kind of just cut it in half um and um just keep wrapping it kind of like you did with the hair and just you know place it underneath the base of the ponytail um i really did like this style the only thing i can say is when you have natural hair your hair may be a bit wavy so it doesn't match completely with the extensions which i didn't mind but you if you are natural and you do mind that you may want to get just some curly hair but other than that this is the style guys be sure to subscribe and i thank you guys for watching and be on the lookout for my next video no, not